inside and outside yeah. have these little cute black trees and we're going to put them in the playroom by I love piano so now we have this Minnie Mouse little stuffed animal which fun fact I got this from the Disney store and they're le they were leaving in nine days and now they're leaving the Tampa to take the leftover stuff from that store um, from that store into another Disney store in Tampa. And this is the last 2020 Minnie Mouse um, stuffed animal they had. And it was the last one because they're, you know, taking everything. Hi guys, so we have um, Hocus Pocus. And her real name is not Hocus Pocus. That's what, that's what the, mu the show is called. But here is and yeah. So we have these little flamingos where the cords are so people go slow and they don't trip over the cord. So now we are going to the scary house which I really want to show you. So I'm going to show you the first scary thing we've got. So this is Pennywise and it is really spooky and really just frightening and also we're going to go inside that house which it is going to be our haunted house for the 2020 year. So I'm so excited to show you inside when he's inside that room. Look at him. When he turns on. He puts his arms up and he glows his eyes. And he pops out at you. And he pops out at you. So, no, no. Hey guys, so sorry about the big sunlight, but we're going to be showing you Frank. Now, Frank is a really fr friendly character, and I grew up watching Frankenstein my whole life, and this will be a great experience. So, he has these big hands, which I can just step right into. And we also have flamingos around them so people don't, you know, trip on cords. They can just stop. And here's our Frank. So we're gonna walk through. And we're gonna have pumpkins laid out. A dead skeleton, which I think is really cool. So yeah. Welcome to Pirate Island. So this time keep falling down. Okay. Show me what you got here, Cora. So what we have is we have this skeleton that glows his eyes green. As you can see the green eyes in there. He glows with this. And he glows his orange body and he has this thing. So then we have, we have this, and it just shines a light. And then we have a skeleton mermaid, and then we have this. There's no grass here, so I have to be careful. And it lights up, this lights up, the other one inside lights up blue, but I don't think it works. It needs batteries. Yeah. Hello. So, and then we have this sleeping with the fishes. And we have some pirates, but they're not out here right now. So, bye to Pirate Island. The lights up. Riding ground. And there's skeletons. Yeah, uh, thanks. They're 
they're just reading, they say stuff like, mm, and they just they say stuff about Halloween. So next we have Freddy Krueger now. He is a really old, scary person, and there was a bunch of movies. The Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Nightmare on Elm Street 3, and now this is him as an animatronic. You want to turn him on? Um, no. But he is creepy. We will turn him on in a different video or at the end to review. Look at his hands. That was a little sharp. This is a Ghostbusters car. We have to see it when it's all blown up, don't we? In the end of the video, we will review all these stuff on and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, This takes a few hours to blow up. So you guys might see it in a different video for a reveal. So we have this grave digger, which uh, th his eyes are really green and spooky. He has a sh he has a shovel and he has a la lantern. Um, he is really old and he's gonna he turns on as well. So you'll see him in the review. Um, he has really detailed nose. Um, teeth, chin, and his hands are really nice detailed as well. There are veins all over Daddy, them. Daddy, can I show um, the pirates yep, now? Yeah, we'll see the pirates now. So, these are some pirates. This is one and this one it has treasure. Now and these guys gonna talk. Also, you're going to also see talk. it in the review. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're going to do everything on in the review. You guys can stay here. So this is like the witch's area. The witch is going to be sitting here. This is actually Nanny's kitchen that's been gutted, so it looks even scarier. And it's got the crime scene tape with the witch sitting there. All right. Then we're going to go in here to where Pennywise was, and we have his friend Georgie. Now this Georgie came from Party City. Um, which is really cool and we'll, we'll show you guys with everything plugged in at night and lit up but this is Georgie and here's that Pennywise that's just kind of staring out the window he's pretty tall and his costume is pretty good all right and then we're going to do something in the bathroom here it's going to look cool all right, you guys ready? Yes, we're ready. Yes, we are ready. One. So, this is a Here lies Beetlejuice. So, this, this is a witch that's like sitting in there, which is spooky. That foot, that foot, hand, hand. And, yeah. Okay, I, what's going on up here in the so window? So, now we have these really, this skeleton that peeks out and he tries to figure out what you're doing, which I like. Um. He, his eyes glow blue and he is really cool. Cool, and so, then we got our lights going here. Now can I show pumpkin something? Yep. So, so, so we have this pumpkin man on a screen. And I'm actually a bat solo. Mm -hmm. So we have him right here and this is him. Cool. I don't hold my stuff. You keep doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You. We're gonna blow up stuff over there, which um, yeah. we're, you're, you're gonna see in the review. Um, and the animatronics and the blow up. We'll blow it all up at night. And okay. we're gonna all blow it up at night for the review. No, can I show this? Yeah, go ahead, Cor. So this is a zombie that tries to get in our house. Basically, it has no face, it has no eyeballs, no smile, no nose. It's thing. spooky. It's spooky. It's trying to, zombie, trying to get in your house. So? Oh, no, it's that one. It's a different one, it's which, different one. um, we're gonna yeah. put, spread their wings out, and she talks. Mm. All right. Go ahead. So, finally, we're doing the inside of our house. So, 
I am your individual sniper. So we we are going to show this build juice that turns his head around. We're going to show him in the interview. And here he is. You're gonna also see him in the review. Yeah. Is yeah. a skeleton um whole like drink um and we're gonna put all the drinks in there um water um it's kids and adults and there's gonna be ice and these skeletons have a mask and they carry the boat i guess yeah so we don't get coronavirus from them <laughs> we have so we have a little um, help and an m and we have starbirds we have twix we have whatever this says i don't know how to read it so because I'm only five years old. You're, hey, wait, can you pause that? And then we have Gosh. this can. Not Starburst. That's Smarties. Smart. Smart. Okay. We have Smarties. That's Smarties. Cool. And then we have, we have a whole can Sour thing. Punch. We sour, have sour Punch Straws. Punch. Sour Punch Straws. And we have Gifty Bags. And we have Fun I also made. 20, almost 23 of them, which I'm so really impressed. And then candy. we have this candy. We have this and the treasure box and candy corn. And this is for good. Don't eat it, kids. Mm -hmm. Which I will show you a close-up for the treasure box. Cool. Here you go, Lila. I was just about to show all of the candy, but Hello, say. So this is says Hocus Pocus, Trick or Treat, Trick or Treat, Hocus Pocus. So this is the cat, which I really like. Um, it has these green evil eyes and it glows yellow. Um, and his head spins. <laughs> and it is a really creative and cool cat. Oh, let me turn off the lights. Isn't that cool? Which we're going to show what's inside right now. Oh, it's salt. It's salt. And this is the drink that she has, and she puts these in her drink, which I think I these are love, really cool. I love Topo Chico, and this is what they use for Topo Chico. This is just a recipe. Daddy, can I have Topo Chico right now? That's Matt, and over here we have this little witch thing, which I really like. Um, there's bats, and what's really creative about it is that this tree has spider webs hanging down of it. What a creative delight! Mm -hmm. 